Oh, hi. Here we have a Sisa. You'll never read it, and I've given up trying to get the camera to pick it up. But it's a five pin Sisa. Um, I've got the key for it. The key just operates the latch. Okay, just open the door. It's a. Uh, there's the bidding on the key, if you can see that. Uh, and it says Sicer on the key as well. But like I say, you'll never read it. You have to take my word for it, I'm afraid. Now, I've done this one before, but uh, I haven't done it on here. So I thought, well, what the hell? I might as well do it on here. Okay, here we go. Ah, uh, should have said use another homemade short to medium hook, I suppose you'd say. I have a steak knife. I got, like I said, I got pick sets, but I don't bother using them. I prefer to use the homemade ones. All right, now that looks like I've got a lot of tension there, but I haven't at all. It's just, just resting in there. I just find it more comfortable. Okay. Oh, there's one already, number five. I think we've got two security pins in here. I'm, I'm not sure about that. I don't pretend to be a locksmith. I just enjoy picking them as a sport. Numbering the pins, I've tried that, but by the time a lot finally opens, I'm way past remembering what what the sequence was. Now I've just stuffed that up there. Go back to pin five. Pin four. Give three a miss, we'll go to pin two, I believe. Pin one. Back to pin two, three, four. Five was that? Not sure. Three's overset, so we'll start again. Right. Go right back to pin five. Oh, there's plug rotation. Pin four. Nothing at the moment, so let's go to pin three. Pin two. Okay, pin one. Pin one. Right, back into pin five. Oh, there's more rotation, so that was a false set on pin five, I'd say. And since I've come back and done pin one, it's allowed me to get pin five properly. Now, that could be wrong. Like I said, I don't pretend to be a locksmith. All I want to do is pick it. I think this is the one that keeps stuff out. I think pin three keeps stuffing me up. Two. set one again. Pin five, I don't think. Oh, there it goes. 
windows, that's a bit better. Just got to find the last one now. You keep tempted to go and pin three, but I don't think... Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, there it goes. Now, the reason I've given up on uh, pin numbering is because I just picked that before and pin one was the last one and that opened it. That time it was pin three. So, I don't bother me backside anymore about pin numbering. I'll still try, but... Uh, Okay, anyway, it's open. Okay, now, on the back of this thing, oh, it's a brute of a thing, I can tell you. We have another one, and that's a sizer as well. It takes the same key, and it triggers that button. I won't bother explaining it. There's a little solenoid in here as well, so I'm not going to bother explaining it too long. See, the button pops out. So you push the button in, lock it, and the button stays in. Alright, like I said, it's only a three pin, so it should not take very long. Ah, oh, when I get the right bloody thing here. Okay, shouldn't take long. I don't know if you can see it, straight to the back, pin, oh, there's pin three gone already, I think. Two, pin one. I think I've just overset that one already. So let's start again. Straight to the back, pin three. I believe that's pin two. Now it's just pin one. Okay, there it goes. Now watch that button pop out. If you can see it. Use the key. There it goes. You just heard it pop. Okay, well that's it. It's got size written on there. All right. Okay, job done. Um, don't forget, if you're interested in lock manipulation, take a wander over to uklocksport.co.uk and uh, introduce yourself to the guys there. Great bunch of blokes. Um, okay, hooray for now.